Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been, it's been a while since I've done a Primark haul. So I thought I would pop in, have a look at all the new spring stuff that they've got out. And yes, I am mentally transitioning into spring. It's time. Um, so yeah, they had loads of different stuff. Loads, everything's pretty much changed since I last went in. So I've got a few different bits to try on and show you guys really nice little kind of like spring bits um and yeah i'm gonna be talking you through kind of like the size fit pricing everything like that as per usual okay so first off i'm just gonna talk you through the shirt i'm gonna show you what it actually looks like kind of untucked first so it's this kind of like really nice sandy colored shirt and then it kind of folds over and you have this like pleat detailing here. So it's very much kind of like a big smockish. Doesn't have a lot of shape, but I did really like the kind of collar detail on this. And I really like this light sandy colour. I think it's really versatile, would look great with like a leather jacket. And then the black kind of paintbrush strokes as well, I thought were really, really cool. But as you can see, not the most flattering it's very shapeless does go down quite a bit at the back but my thought process on this is that it would look great just kind of like twist it up at the front just tuck it in um it's still a nice kind of like loose design but tucking it into high-waisted jeans like that i think just instantly kind of changes it up quite a lot and just gives it a lot more shape so don't like it untucked, but do you like it tucked in? Um, the quality of this really isn't that bad either. I mean, I am a fan of Primark. It can be a little hit and miss, but this doesn't feel really cheap. And actually, I don't know if you ever see it on camera. Probably not. It does have this kind of like line detailing, which makes it look a little bit more kind of linen-y and more expensive, but it is a very thin shirt. So let me tell you what size I got it in. I got this in a size 16, and just so you guys know, I'm normally a 16 on top and an 18 on bottom. I said this time and time again, Primark sizing is all over the place. I have just got stuff in my size, so um, we shall see if it fits or not. 11 pounds this was, so that is dirt cheap for a shirt like this. Again, I think this kind of top is so versatile because you could wear it with um, like a high-waisted black skirt and wear it to the office would look really smart. Pair it with a pair of jeans and dress it down. Anything really, like for me, it's definitely gonna be like a high-waisted jeans, leather jacket, boots kind of shirt, um, but something you can definitely wear to loads of different occasions. And I'm just gonna bring the camera down a little bit and show you the jeans. Okay, so you guys know that I have tried so many different mum jeans and just not found anything that suits me. I couldn't find any in Primark that I liked to try, but I thought I would try out these. They're like straight cut jeans, which actually I've never tried before. Um, I'm normally like a skinny jean kind of gal, but I don't mind them so much. Um, so these are the vintage straight high waist jeans. I got them in a size 18 and they were 15 pounds. 15 pounds is dirt cheap. And actually, they feel a lot better quality than 15 pounds. I was expecting them to feel really stiff and horrible and they're actually quite nice. And I do like this kind of dark wash as well. I normally gravitate more towards like a lighter wash, but I really, really like these. And they've got the kind of raw edge on the bottom there just to make them look a little bit different. Um, yeah, size-wise, they do fit me, which is really surprising for Primark because I normally struggle with their jeans. I'd say I would like them a little bit more high-waisted because the area that I'm struggling with is more... I want them a little bit higher at the back. So I wouldn't say they're, like, super high-waisted, but they're not too bad. I kind of think once you wear them a few times, they'll kind of, like, mould to your body a little bit better. But yeah, really like it with this kind of style shirt as well. I'm really surprised actually. I didn't think I would like these. I'm not entirely sure 
on the straight cut, whether that's something that's flattering for my figure or not. But I did want to just kind of branch out and try something different um, from my kind of usual skinny jean kind of vibe. But yeah, and I do like these. I think they're definitely worth the money. Um, I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm just going to fire through literally all of the tops I got. So next up, don't actually know if this is a top or a jacket. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, really, really like it. So it's this, it doesn't even really wrap over. Um, it's kind of like a big lapel jacket style shirt that you kind of like tie in the middle i thought this is this is like the perfect kind of chuck on top you know when you're like in a rush or you just can't be bothered like on a pair of jeans and something like this you're good to go and you just look way more presentable than the effort that you would have put in if that makes sense um i think it's nice and flattering because it kind of cinches you in on the waist i really really love this color it's a very nice kind of soft denim blue I think that just suits so many people and then you have this kind of button detailing here and the buttons are really cool they're just quite different um yeah the fabric's really nice and soft actually I don't really know how to describe this it's like a thick shirt material but it's, it is very very soft um yeah I'm gonna try and show you this without flashing everything so I didn't really look at it properly on the hanger when I picked it up but I thought it would wrap over more, maybe have like a button or something. It doesn't. You literally just have like the ribbons kind of tucked away in that pocket there, which I like that it's hidden. That's great. But then you literally just tie it up in the middle here like that. But that's the only thing securing the top together. So that's probably the only downside for this top. If you're self-conscious about that, just wear a little cami top underneath it or something. Um, but I think it would be fine, I'd wear it out like that, but then, I mean, alternatively, you could just wear it as a jacket um, and just chuck it on over like a little strappy top or something like that. So there are a few different ways to wear it. I just thought it was a little bit different. Let me tell you what size. I think I got it in a 16. Yeah, I got it in a 16 and this was 20 pounds. Um, 20 pounds is like more than I would usually expect to pay at Primark, but I actually think it's totally worth it. The material is really, really nice. And like I just said, really versatile. You can wear it over like leggings, jeans. It's just such a nice kind of chuck on top. Um, but then you can also wear it open as a jacket. Be great on holiday as like a beachy cover up. I presume you can take these down as well. Yeah, you could take those down as well. So, yeah, be great as like a little just chuck on jacket to wear it in the evening, something like that. So definitely a lot of different ways to wear it. The quality is really good. And the size is really good as well, actually, which is surprising from Primark. Um, so yeah, I would, yeah, I think it's worth the 20 pounds. A little bit surprised that it is that much from Primark, but I think it's definitely worth the money. Right. <sighs> I was really excited when I saw this top, but I'm a little bit disappointed. So it's this little kind of peplum style top. I love a peplum style top. I think they're so cute and girly, really flattering, give you a really nice waist, whether you are hourglass or not. I think regardless, it just kind of gives you a really nice little tuck in and a flare out. I just think it's super flattering. <laughs> but these sleeves, I've been very vocal about this. I do not like a puffy sleeve. I just don't, I just, it just makes me look so broad on top. I just don't like it. Um, let me give you a close up of this fabric. So it's broderie anglais. I think I'm getting better at saying that. I really struggled with that last year. Um, really cute little like perfect spring little kind of pattern this really nice kind of creamy color it's just, i think it's really cute i just do this these sleeves just ruin it if it was like that it would just be so much more flattering um i got this in a 16 and i mean it is quite roomy i don't think it's something that you're going to want tight but at the same time I feel like it could fit a little bit better 
but then the way that they've placed these buttons is also not very well thought through because I mean it's not tight whatsoever but I still have this massive gape here where there's like not a button kind of there so quality of this is just okay the fabric doesn't feel very nice it does feel a bit cheapy um the fit of it is an awful but it could be a lot better puff sleeves are just a massive no for me um i think it's more to do with them on myself i just don't think they're flattering rather than just in general um obviously each to their own i do think the idea of the top's really cute but I'm just not feeling it and they actually did this in a few different colors as well i think they did it in like a minty green and i think there was like a blush pink as well but anyway i got this in a size 16 pretty spot on um size wise and this was 13 pounds um which is really affordable for this kind of top i don't i don't think it's well enough executed to make me want to keep it for that amount of money if that makes sense um yeah just not not feeling it i do think the idea of it's cute i just don't like it on okay last top to show you guys and then i've got a skirt and a couple of dresses um you will definitely see a kind of color theme when you go to primark the colors they're kind of going for are like really nice kind of dusky roses loads of kind of um not pastely, but like minty kind of dusky greens. There's lots of creams. They're, they're very much that kind of color palette at the moment. That's what they're going for. And I do really like that about Primark is that they kind of like theme things quite a lot like that. So there's obviously so many different things to choose from, but they do have, if you like this color, they have so many things in this color because they're obviously trying to like, that's their spring color. Um, but anyway, so got this top. On the hanger, I thought, oh, this would just look great. I'm really not feeling it. So, kind of similar to that first top I tried on where it's a bit shapeless, but you have, I can't even undo this. Come on. Right, so it's quite shapeless, baggy, but you have obviously these tie bits that you can just tie it up and cinch it in a little bit I just thought again this would be a really great kind of cute chuck on top but it is just it's a bit too sack like for my liking I don't think it's flattering the material definitely not as nice it feels very different to that first shirt that I tried on it is a different material and this does feel very very cheap and I just think it looks cheap and if I show you how they kind of like finish the seaming it's just like that weird like flap that you just got to tuck in it's not it's not great um and it has these it's like really they've done like three quarter length sleeves but this bit's actually quite tight and it's kind of sitting there on my arm but then it's a bit restricting my movement a little bit so it's not even that comfortable either um i got this in a 16 as well oh there's no label on this had to refer to the receipt okay so this is the tie front v-neck this was nine pounds so this is a very cheap top but it definitely looks and feels like a cheap top i got it in a 16 and like i mean it is true to size but i mean you can't go that wrong with a sack can you so mm, definitely wouldn't recommend this one i'm a bit disappointed uh, right although i'm desperate to take this top off I've just left it on to show you this skirt. Obviously these do not go, but I will show it to you anyway. Right, so I've got one of these, like I said, please just ignore the top. Picked up one of these midi skirts. I absolutely love these. There are so many of these knocking around at the moment, like satin midi skirts. This is more of a kind of like, um, I don't know what you'd call the material, more of like a, it's not satin, it's more of a kind of cottony, um, material oh it's twisted okay so like i was saying about the colors this is what i mean it's this really nice kind of cream color with the like black specks on it looks great i've said this so much about midi skirts and midi dresses and everything like that these are great to like 
you can team these up with maybe like a really cute little roll neck jumper, some boots, and kind of dress them up that way. Um, and not necessarily have to wear jeans all the time, which I feel like I do pretty much all the time. Um, and yeah, size wise, I got this in an 18. I am so surprised by how this is fitting me because normally they're either really tight on my hips or like too loose up here. And this is actually fitting me like perfectly, um, which is extremely rare. So I'm very surprised that Primark was the one that got it right. Is it see-through? I don't think it is see-through. No, I think we're all good. Yeah, really, really surprised with this. The length is really good. You have one slit that goes up that side. But again, the slit's not like too high. I don't feel like I'm gonna flash anyone. Um, I mean, it just looks so ridiculous with this top, but if I was to wear it with like a really nice little black t-shirt or something like that, I just think it would look so cute, and especially with some heeled boots. Absolutely in love with this. And actually, Steve came to Primark with me, and I picked this up and he said, oh, I really, really like that, which I was not expecting. Um, so yeah, pretty impressed with that. This one doesn't have a label on it either. Right, split front midi, 10 pounds. 10 pounds, that is pretty good. Like I've tried on so many of these skirts and they've been very, very hit and miss. This is probably, probably one of the cheapest ones I've ever tried on, but also probably one of the better fitting ones I've ever tried on. I mean, yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't think it could fit me any better. So I'm really impressed and I say this so much, prime up, can sometimes be very kind of straight cut. Um, but this is definitely curve friendly, so I'm really, really impressed. And just to give you another little close up of the fabric, such a weird angle. Love that. That kind of like paint splat um, abstract print is like, it's very me, so yes. Okay, we are onto the dresses. So I did see quite a few different kind of smock dresses and I'm not really a kind of smock dress kind of girl because, well, this is basically why. I just think when you're curvy, I mean, look at that. A smock dress just adds so much to you. It's really, really unflattering, but I will show you why I picked up this one. So firstly, love this color. Again, you have that kind of paint splat abstract design on it. So if you're someone like me who doesn't like a lot of color and a lot of like stuff going on, having a print like this adds a lot of interest to it, but it's still very simple and like not too much. Um, so basically if you're boring like me, you're gonna love this print. Um, I love that it's nice and roomy. What I did really like is, right, so it does have a seam here, and it also has a seam that runs along the bottom here, just to give it a little bit more of a kick out, a little bit more detail, and it's very kind of like, swishy, nice kind of girly spring vibe. So that's why I loved it, but I knew obviously that it was not gonna suit my figure. Um, I sized down in this, and I got it in a size 14. I did toy with the idea of getting a 12, Thinking about it now, I 100% could have gotten a 12 because it is extremely roomy, but let me try it on with this belt because it just changes it. I didn't get this belt from Primark, by the way. This is just one I already had. So, I mean, completely different dress, right? And this is what I mean, like, you have this kind of seam running along there that kind of gives it that little bit of a kick out, a little bit more kind of flair and, yeah, you can still cinch in the waist and it looks really, really good. I feel like I need to adjust it a little bit because it's not quite sitting right. So obviously by cinching in the waist, you do lose a little bit of the length. So it does make it a little bit shorter, but it's definitely not too short. I think this would look so cute with some knee high black boots. And again, just chuck on like another jacket or something like that. It would just instantly kind of like dress it up a little bit. The only thing I'm not too sure about is it's buttoned all the way down here. So you can obviously open that up as much or as little as you want. I think having it buttoned all the way up looks a little bit, I don't know, 
it's a bit weird. Um, when they were all lined up on the hangers, the one at the front was opened up like that and it looked really good. I'm trying to do that on myself and it doesn't seem to want to, oh, now it is. Oh, no, there we go. It doesn't seem to want to stay open like that. So it keeps on kind of like shutting. Um, so I'm not sure I like that neckline. I think it's a bit, I don't know, just looks a bit odd. But apart from that, I actually really like this. It was hit and miss whether this was going to pull through or not. But I think it's really cute. And again, I'm pretty sure they did this in a few different kind of like patterns and colours and stuff. So like I said, I got it in a 14. I would probably size down another size. So if you don't want it to be like a massive smock dress, even if you do want to wear it as a smock dress, I think it's still come up massive. I'd probably size down two. This was £13, which... I think it's really good. The material's nice and soft. It's got quite nice detailing on it. Once you belt it in, the fit is actually quite good. Um, yeah, I think that's actually bargain for like a really cute little spring dress. And it's just a little bit different to other things that I've kind of seen at the moment. So I am a massive fan of that. The only thing I don't like is, obviously I said the neckline, but also the fact that you get this on a lot of stuff the fact that the inside bit's so different but i guess if you did want to wear it open like that one way around that is just to iron it open like that and just kind of train it to stay like that because i think if that was opened up more like that it would just look it would just definitely look a lot better right last but not least got of course had to give you guys a midi dress because i'm obsessed at the moment um and Yes, it's green. I told you this guy, guys, this color is just in. So this is definitely more of a kind of gray, greeny, blue color, which is, for me, I prefer this color a little bit more than the green, green. Um, yeah, but this is really, really nice. So kind of has like a very slight linen-y feel to it. The material's quite thin, but why, the reason I picked this up, this bit here is elasticated. So I knew that this would give me shape because it has that bit elasticated in and I am not disappointed whatsoever. Like normally a shirt dress like this, I would have to belt it in just to give myself that kind of shape, but it's already doing it for me. So you don't have to wear a belt with this. I probably would still wear a belt just to kind of like dress it up a little bit, um, but really, really nice. And again, it's one of those dresses that you can sort of dress up with some heeled boots, a bit of jewellery, or just wear it with some sandals in summer. Like, very, very versatile. They had this in a few different colours. I originally picked it up in a kind of creamy colour, um, similar to that little peplum top that I had on earlier. That was really nice, but then I saw this and just spent ages ooing and ahhing between the two, and I picked this one up in the end. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. Just seeing the only issue I'm having is like a little bit of bunching. Oh, it's elasticated at the back as well. I didn't know that. So it's elasticated here. Then there's none here. And then it starts here again. Um, but yeah, really nice. Good length on it. So like just below the knee. I like the sleeves on it. This is why I hate when people do puff sleeves. Because I just think having a straighter sleeve, sleeve like this that kind of kicks out a little bit. So much more flattering. Um, I got this in a 16. I mean, it does depend how you want it to fit. I could have gotten an 18. It probably would have been a bit looser, like, oh, I don't know. I think I've got enough. Yeah, no, I think 16 is fine. The only thing I struggle with is this button. I've got a little bit of resistance going on there. Um, but, you know, I, I say this all the time. Put on a really cute little lacy bralette. And then, I mean, this dress does have a kind of reserved look to it. So by wearing like maybe a little lacy bralette, unbutting it a little bit, just make it a little bit more sexy and yeah, bit of a different vibe. So maybe like button it up during the day and then out in the evening. Yeah, really, really like it. Love this colour. The material's like, the material's pretty nice. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not like amazing quality, but we're shopping in Primark, so it's never going to be. Um, Size-wise, I think it's spot on, definitely curve friendly. This was £15. Um, 
So I actually think that's really good value for a dress like this. And it's very sort of in right now, this kind of like midi style. Um, yeah, and even the buttons, like, they're not cheap looking buttons. They're kind of like a green tortoiseshell, which is quite like a unique button. Um, goes really well. But yeah, I absolutely love it. Right, guys, that is everything from me today. Overall, that's actually been a really, really good haul. Previously, like, I just find... Primark, I do love it, but it can be so hit and miss. And obviously they do have a lot of issues with their kind of sizing and the way things fit. And yeah, I mean, I've, I've spoken so much about it before, so I won't bore you, but I feel like everything I tried on today was pretty spot on. Um, and as per usual, everything's really well priced because it's Primark. is a little hit and miss with the quality, but obviously when you pick stuff up, just have a proper look at it. I feel like I kind of swept stuff into my basket because I was in a rush. But yeah, really impressed. They've got some really nice stuff in store at the moment. Lots of like really cute colors, loads of midi stuff, which is really in. I mean, they always have so many nice jumpers. I say that all the time, their jumpers are actually really, really good. Um, and yeah, loads of denim wear as well. Loads of mum jeans, but they just didn't have the ones that I wanted in my size. But yeah, definitely worth going and checking them out because they have so much new spring stuff in, which is amazing. Um, but if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys next time.